Hello everyone, and I'm going to give you a quick tutorial on automating your bees. A lot of people seem to be avoiding bees because it takes so much time and they don't really want to go to the effort of setting up some automation. So I'm going to show you how to do it here real quick. First, you're going to need a apiary, some stone and cobblestone transport pipes, wooden transport pipes, apiarist pipes, and a plain autarkic gate and iron ore gate. What? What's with all the groaning? Oh, your pipes keep exploding. Yeah, that can be a problem. Here's how to fix that. You need a cobblestone structure pipe right by your uh, assembly table. Just plop down a iron ore gate. Run some red pipe wire, has to be red, for the iron. Down to these, there, there. Then take your iron gates again and put them right here. Then here, put another red alloy wire. And let's see, you want this to do work scheduled, send a red pipe signal. Then on the red pipe signal, redstone torch, whoops. Let's get that one, I guess. Then whenever you tell it to do something, your engines come on. When it's done, the engines turn off. No more exploding pipes. Okay, now then, to the B thing. First, you're going to need, one thing I forgot, you're also going to need some iron transport pipes. Okay. Okay. So that's going to be the first thing you're going to set down. And then you're going to put your apiary on top of that. From there, you want a apiarist pipe, and that's not an apiarist pipe. That is, and then right above the APRS pipe, you want a wooden pipe, and on either side of this, on one side, you want some stone transport pipes, and on the other side, you want some cobblestone transport pipes. Then, take your plain iron ore gate, put it there, your autarkic gate, put it there, and set your autarkic gate. To items in inventory, energy pulsar. Set this to missing drones, missing queen, redstone signal. So missing queen or princess and missing drone, both those. Then, after you've set the gate, check your pipe and make sure that it's facing up with the open thing facing up. Now then... We want to set this. So the first thing we're going to set is the blue line. And this particular setup is for, it's a perpetual hive. It's good for only purebred uh, drones and queens. So let's see. And some honey. We'll use, I think, meadows for this. So both uh, your active and inactive needs to be the same species on your drone and on your princess. You don't need to have analyzed the bees. I was just pointing that out. So here... We said we're going to set the blue first. We want purebred bees. And then we want to set this meadows, 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 meadows. So only meadows bees can go into this hive. Now then for the yellow, that's going to be where we're going to put the items. So just items. 
Then for the green, that's where the extra drawings are going to go. So we're going to put any bees. Now then, if we breed this, let's choose the identified one. And we'll come back to that once it has bred. Or I'll pause the recording and I'll be right back. Okay, it has just finished. It's pumping out the drone. There's one drone. The other one got sent away. And now then the queen goes in and it breeds. So we get a stockpile of drones here and all the other products here. So you can send this to a bee chest whoops, to store them so that you always have this type of bee on hand. And that way if you continually breed pure drones with any other type of queen you'll eventually get this type of bee. And here you can send this to be sorted and then go to a centrifuge or straight to a centrifuge depending on what type of bees you're breeding. For this we would send it straight to a centrifuge since it doesn't produce anything that can't be centrifuged. But now then that we have that we need to think about how to get some bees that are worth breeding. So I will be right back once I have something set up for that. One thing I should mention before we continue, if you're going to build the perpetual hive underground like this, and say you have more items out that way, and some type of iron pipe junction right here, do not put a block here. Leave this space empty. Otherwise, this will power this and switch your uh, iron pipe so that this doesn't go the way you want. So cover it like that and leave that space empty if you have an iron pipe next to that block. Okay, I've got something set up here. Let's see. You need three hives, three apiaries, built like this. The iron pipe on the bottom, an apiary on the top of the iron pipe, three wooden transport pipes, then stone or cobblestone there and there. Then two apiarist pipes like that. Then after you do that, be sure to whack this wrench, whack this pipe with the wrench to make sure that it's facing the right way. You need a autarkic gate on that wooden transport pipe set up the same way that we did back there. Just. Doo -doo -doo. Items in inventory, energy pulser. You do not need a gate on this iron pipe because once it's connected to a wooden transport pipe like that, you cannot actually change it. So here's what happens. Let's assume we're trying to breed a common bee from a forest princess and a um, meadows drawn. Both of these we have purebred meadows uh, princesses and pure no, purebred forest princess and purebred meadows drones and we also have a couple of perpetual hives set up so that we have a continuous supply of meadows pure meadows drones and pure forest drones coming in through here and that will go out to those hives. Let's also assume that we have not yet discovered the common drone. We're not even sure that it exists. We just have an inkling that if we breed a forest drone, a forest princess with a meadow drone, we will get something new. So the first step is in the first hive, we want to put that forest queen and meadows drone. Then the possible outcomes of that, we could get a forest forest princess, which we would send back into the hive. So here, the forest forest princess goes up, back into the hive. We could get uh, meadows something drone, basically meadows anything. 
that we will want to send to the hive. We could get any other types of bees we'll send straight through the blue. Any items we're going to send out through the yellow. Then another possible outcome is we could get forest, meadows, or forest, something unknown, princess. And if we got that, we would want to turn it back into a forest, forest, princess. To do that, we would breed it with forest, forest drones that are coming in from there. So that would go here, breed to come become a forest, forest, princess again, eventually. Then, another possible outcome is our queen could have be turned traitor and become a meadow something queen, primarily meadows queen. If that happened, we also want to breed that with a pure forest drone to turn it back into a forest, um, forest, forest princess. And those are the possible outcomes. If we get the princess that we want, this is where that's determined. All princesses that are primarily forest or primary meadows get sent through here. And the third one's just a duplicate of that one. All drones that are primarily forest, primarily or that are pure forest, pure meadows, are primarily meadows get sent back into the system. Everything else gets sent through here. So this is the same as right here. It just loops them through. You can see how the iron pops are set. This one's set to go down, this one's set to go out that way. With the open end facing down and the open end facing that way. So any other things are going to come out here. If you only wanted the princess, you would set this to be princess instead of any bees. And those drones would just keep going through the system forever. Or you could maybe have a secondary pipe to send them somewhere to get destroyed or whatever. But these should be forest common princesses. Or drones. Yeah. And I do not believe it counts as far as the tracking is concerned. If you breed a forest common, yeah, forest common princess with a forest common, uh, drone and get a common princess, I don't think it counts as having bred a common princess for some reason, at least not in the current version of forestry. Right here, we just have a simple overflow. If you have this running for a very long time, you're going to get a lot of drones running around here. So you would just wipe this a couple times for the ranch to send the overflow here and do whatever you want with that. The items just come straight through here and go to wherever you want your items to go. We don't have any frames in here, here so they aren't being very productive. This is a, not a productive setup, it's just to get the types of species that you want not to get the output. That one is for the output. So that's going to be it for this. Thanks for watching and I will see you next time. One last thing, you can put multiple princesses in this system up to three and the extra ones will just continue around to there somewhere for them to go. So if you had other princesses, if you had three forest forces princesses, go ahead and put them in there. And that as soon as the hive becomes available, they'll be sent in.